This is Massive Wiki Wednesday for November 24th, 2021. Bill, take it away. All right, now let me see if I can, let me see if I can share my screen and actually I'll get this thing. I guess just, yes, share the desktop. I'll show all the dirty laundry. All right. All right, what do I, all right, so here's this, uh, here's this thing called dual, which really is a code that actually instantiates a certain kind of some paradigms about uh, linking stuff and finding thing and uh, learning from a corpus of material and then being able to uh, <clears throat> assist you later. So, you know, so it's claimed to be, you know, the skilled virtual assistant for knowledge work. So I'm like, okay, cool. No pressure. It's their second brain come to life. They got through all this other stuff, which I thought, you know, but then he says he has all these skills, you know? And so this is, I'm going to show you this. This is really interesting. So here's an example of a skill. You can formulate research questions and I, I put this into my <laughs> into my obsidian. I'm like, I still don't like, I, I really don't know how to use it, but I'll show you what it looks like in obsidian. Um, let's make this, move this over. Like this bigger. So you open up dual and you get this little thing here. So I did this and I picked this to be a copy of the wiki I have that has the most content. And I had to go through this weird procedure using their, some part of the Google co-laboratory that's open source, yep. because you really, I see rights, he goes, you really need some heavy power equipment to get this learning done. <laughs> um, and I found it took me a, basically the better part of a week to get this thing done right because there was all kinds of tacit knowledge, not not really tacit knowledge that could ha could have been made explicit that wasn't. <laughs> There's a subtle difference between that and tacit. and tacit knowledge, which is like you know you'll know how to ride a bike when you can ride a bike. So yeah. I can't really can't help you except you know cheer you on. Um, anyway, so let's try this. I'm going to try and type in here. No, Xander. I'm not typing in anything about you. <laughs> Massive wiki question mark. So the other part of this is once you get this thing set up, in the background, you have this little web server running. Yep. Um, which is you know on on port 5000 and it you know if i type this here, all right did i do it i didn't let's see if i send it and go back over there so it's updating itself you know it's uh caching new entries it's the 24th so i assume that someday it'll catch up to the one i just sent Anyway, because I type massive wiki in there, you get this little note here that I, I call this thing Banduel. They just said, give it a name. I'm like, I, you know, you know, maybe I'll call it Oscar someday, whatever. <laughs> Groucho, that would be better. <laughs> um, anyway, so it's typing says it's off in the background, you know, doing something. <laughs> I, I'm I'm unconvinced. I think it's not running, or it's not. I, it crashed or something. Really? Oh, okay. All right, <laughs> buddy. Sander really wants to help. Man. He wants in on this. <laughs> it's like AI. <laughs> yeah, machine learning. Come on, let me in. <laughs> Let me in. Well, all right. So we can go back to, uh, you know, normal broadcasting and uh, we'll look at this later. Because I don't know why it hasn't started. Funny, yeah, oh, there it is. Oh, it's, 
it takes a while because this file that it created this monster python file it was like you know 1.3 gigabytes wow that it has to i think digest here as one does yeah um well anyway it, it's we'll come okay. back it's later <laughs> yeah <laughs> I don't know if we I'm, want to I'm waiting with excitement for the next word, loading skeleton and loading essence. Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> then previous cache file exists, loading it, pruning, updating, caching new entries, running. All right. Let's go back and try this. Hey. Thank you. If, if only Xander could type, he could be like your typing assistant. All right, now let's see what happens here. So maybe it was just taking a long time. Hi. Well, it does take, seems to take a long time, but we'll just have to wait. This took longer than I thought. And if you just type in like some topics, you, you get like a, a stripped down version of what you'd get in the, in the, um, in the obsidian search yep. that it, it will find some notes that have those that topic in them but not really as many <laughs> and i'm like so i do want to learn like what is what is happening here but anyway i typed this in the other day i should have screen snapped it it was just too funny because if it doesn't, it's, it will go off and do something. Oh, there it is. So now it just got it. Oh, yeah, I see. There's a query. I'm like, well, what have you been doing? <laughs> Swapping memory in and out. I know the electrons don't travel at the speed of light, but still. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's doing billions and billions of electrons. Oh, there it is. So, so it put, created this thing that says, would like to create a wiki that is collaboratively edited, but not only by people with access to a computer, but also by people who wish to add to or correct information contained in a repository. So it's got to be, and then it's got the, but more like a library, Peter Kaminsky, Peter Kaminsky's list of common license tools for collaborating, constructing, improving wikis. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> it's got this mass of stuff. It, yeah. Classic that had been of... previously digested because it was part. Yeah. And I think if you add new pages, it will sort of go, oh, I'll something else to like. I think figure out so what to do. I, you th but you I think that's local, or I, I'm guessing it got that off of the web. Uh, I think it might and... be in here because I copied some stuff from the conversations wiki. I copied a big link from. Yeah, a page from there. Sense. Yeah, yeah. And I just did that to say, you know, I said, I want to copy some more content in. I did read up and it said, it will. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I went to the health group and it said, yeah, it will. If you add content, go, oh, more stuff to try and yep. digest. So so, so then it, it's also not a, a direct quote. It's rewritten. GPT-3 rewrote it. Or... Yeah, well, they use, they use GPT-2 because yeah. they're, that's available. Yeah. Um, I like the idea that they're using a bunch of stuff that's available and you can actually use this Google Collaboratory to do this monster, yep. you know, hours worth of work, yep. which, you know, I don't know what it would do on one of the wikis that you have for OGM. I mean, I don't know how big a size, because there are, there are some limits. It's, it's worth trying on the, um, on the, the Thursday call wiki. Even though there's, well, so the good news is that there, there's only about half the pages or maybe a third of the pages that have any content on them. Then the bad news, that's a good news, bad news thing. It's not much content. But yeah. Also not much content. Oh, hang on, I'm going to sneeze here, so. Let's see in advance. Well, anyway, so if we want, if people want to do this, I can talk them through what, I mean, the, the crap I had to sort out yeah. About what wasn't written down about how to actually yeah. get this thing to work and then actually get this big essence stud zip file downloaded to my computer 
was yeah. another freaking mystery. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, you go to the file, so the file's <laughs> over here in the left-hand side, you click download. He says, it'll take 15 minutes. So you sit there, it says downloaded. And it's like, where did it go? <laughs> no, you actually have to copy this to your Google Drive. Well, why don't you say that? <laughs> yeah. I've uh, I've you gone know, through some of those instructions for for um, uh, image stuff, um, you know, GPT three image stuff, and I, I haven't been bold enough to to actually do it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm interested because the people are pretty friendly on the Discord, you know, and the guy who's in charge seems to answer people. Somebody wrote up, "Look, I'm a complete newbie. Can you like, yeah, can we have better instructions?" <laughs> Um, that looks really cool. Yeah, so I'm curious about because they say and it'll do all these things, and I'm like, well, I I still don't know how do you get this pile of stuff I've you know it's digested this entire wiki. Yeah. So now how do I get to ask it research question? I mean, what is it like? I you know the use case is missing for me. So so, so what are you doing? You know, what, I mean, I, uh, I tried to type in a question about related to notes. I, it was like, you know, I don't have enough information for that. I'm like, <laughs> I really, you know, if you're going to be my virtual assistant, you're going to have to like you step to up here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's all I had to report. But, oh, uh, thank you. That's awesome. But I do want us to get together and the same thing, something I think we should just make a new wiki. Yeah. I really, you know, I was stuck right away, like, this is not an OGM thing. I'm like, yeah. damn it, damn it, I'm yeah. gonna put this in here anyway. Yeah. I thanks for thanks for just going for it. I added something else to to from the internet, um, which you'll find sooner or later. Um, I think so there's so so one one way to do it is to pick a topic that's interesting. So like collective intelligence or collective knowledge or you know, a big, sharing. a broad, a broad topic would be good. I think the other thing, like if you think about Mattermost, um, it's it's a lot more about the people and a bunch of different topics. Um, so the, yes. the cool thing about Mattermost is actually the community rather than you know any any one of the topics. Although I, I guess we use the, the topics are kind of a um, uh, an attractor for people. It's like, oh, you want to talk about, you know, blah blah blah. Hyper you knowledge. To... You got to come over here, man. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't. Maybe we could grow it out of. Well, I guess another thing to think think through is who are the early adopters? Who would go through the the pain and heartache of setting up sync thing? Yeah, because it is. I thought about that. You know, we think, oh, Git is tough. Like, oh, you got it. This is like a little bit of magic here. And then you got to cut and paste this thing. Where does that go? Oh, this ignore thing goes in this other file. I'm like, I want to I want to share my screen one more time just to show Michael something that might help with the sync thing. I, I like how you assume that he cares. <laughs> He's sitting here. <laughs> He's volunteered. Whether he cares or not, he, he, all right. So I had this. going to care for this meeting. I had this thing thing running on my computer. It runs in the background. You don't even know about it until it's not running, <laughs> and you wonder why this page doesn't have anything on it. Anyway, I'm going to ignore this authentication, even though Pete and Mark said I have to send it up because I still do not understand it. However, yeah, click click OK, so it goes away. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we have my own computer. And we have two other computers, one for Mark and one for Peter. And everything is up to date. And you can go see what were the recent changes. And it gives you this machine modified a file called, you know, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Just you, you know, it's go. weird. I have well, I have a longer list of recent changes, I think. Yeah, I, mean, I noticed that the other day I had a longer list. So. Oh, here's a, well, I don't know. Anyway, but so you, it looks like this when it's, if you go to, because I do this a couple of times a day, you know, you can find out which machines are actually still online or so, connected. Um, so what does the, the wiki look like? Do you, have, do you have that up somewhere? Uh, 
I, uh, uh, so the sync thing is just plumbing. Um, you don't really need to care about it once it's set up. And then the idea was that we would have a, um, a wiki that we put stuff in. And the, the, the conceit for this was uh, stuff OGM has said somewhere. And then we found that constricting. We were like, so but that you means filled it with a bunch OGM of stuff. People. There's all this thing, all these. Yeah, I, you know, I, I mean, over most of the, the Thursday call thing. It's good content. I just would. It is. It's we awesome. should just rename it to something more, you know. But anyway. So it looks like a you know obsidian little stuff with topics and so in the last call, um, Jerry and I ended up adding one more top level directory like that, um, the the type namespace thing. We added concept. So topics are kind of like things you would find in Wikipedia, and concepts are kind of like things you would find in Wiktionary. Mm. So I'm going to have to reference Isaiah Berlin's big fat book called Concepts and Categories, <laughs> 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 which are really, you know, that's pretty thick reading. <laughs> yeah, the other, so I committed another sin here. I made another one called License, which, which I, I guess I like that one, even though. Oh, well, you got to put, there should be another topic in here. It's called Poetic. <laughs> I think I no, might add that. That's really <laughs> that goes with Mark's little chit chat last week on Mattermost on language and poetry and stuff. Yep. Yep. This comes with a poetic license. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> then we'd have artistic and exactly. Um. Anyway. By the way, uh, this is a good place. If you click on um, in Found in the Internet, Mimetic versus Cognito Hazard versus Info Hazard. It's just the one you put it up the, I just this, saw this. This yeah. is the, just this page is pretty brilliant. And it's not mine, it's somebody else's written in 2012, back when the internet was still cool. Um, but this whole, the whole site that this comes from, is pretty amazing. And it's a wiki. Um, it's a interact, it's a, creative fiction, creative writing um, exercise. And, and it's, you know, it's a, everything is written from the point of view of the in-game in universe, essentially. It's not, not a game at all, but. Um, well, this is interesting because I read a sto short story or something, a sci-fi short story, I don't know when, about, I don't know whether it was a computer or some, something that someone could watch on a computer and if they actually sat down and watched it at the end they would be insane literally yeah humanly completely transfigured into you know insanity <laughs> which makes me when i read this i'm like i don't think i want to click this link here at all <laughs> I mean, seriously, I'm like, fair, fair enough. No, yeah. No, man. No. <laughs> I um, I I bumped into this because somebody used, I I think. I I was on Twitter this morning and and somebody um, somebody used the word cognito hazard and I'm like, well, that's an interesting word. And then mm -hmm. so it, I found this, so I think that person on Twitter knows knows this uh, um, creative space. Well, it's worth looking at. I mean, I think, uh, well, it's a very interesting way to use the word hazard with these other concepts. And yeah. I think it's, you know, it has some, has some legs here because yeah, <laughs> we're in hazardous territory here. Yeah. You know, there's that one rule about the semantic web, why it's really hard to do this ontology stuff. You know, for the you know the the, the upper ontology because yeah. on the on the web anyone can say anything about any topic at any time. <laughs> right? and, by and, and names you and, upper ontology. Well, yeah, there's yeah, it's like it's not like there's turtles all the way down. It's like there's no way up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you'll never find the top here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that would be good. It might be turtles all the way down. Or actually, on the semantic web, my bad pun joke is 
it's turtle all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> well, we sh I should do that. Maybe I should write that up. It might be turtles all the way down, but there's basically no top. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't look the other way. <laughs> You'll get dizzy for sure. <laughs> if you're afraid of heights, you know, stop now. Jerry was telling us about uh, German uh, crossword puzzles, and it turns out that you put the the, the clue goes in the, the squares of the puzzle. Oh, which is pretty cool. So this is another. So I I I appreciate you thinking that we should rename this bill, and I wonder if I I would I would restart it. Whatever. I'm just I just want to get I want to get away from the restriction that you just having to think, well, what would, is this an OGM thing or is just us a thing that those of us are participating want to sink, you yeah. know? Yeah, it, it should be the latter. And then I wonder if we want some constraint or if we don't, we probably don't. Well, I, you know, found on the internet is one, it's a good chunk of, of content. Yeah, I don't know. Either. I've been posting, I think in Mattermost, but on some of my other socials, like every once in a while, I keep posting, you know, today's Twitter gym. <laughs> yeah. So. I, maybe what we should do is think of the wiki kind of the way we, we use Mattermost and make topics, make, make channels or something that, you know. Oh, you know, that reminds me. The other thing that I was thinking would be cool uh, in, a, in a sync thing wiki is, um, uh, have one directory that's the wiki and then another directory that's maybe files or something like that and then another directory that's chat you could actually chat through sync thing um really? uh well right now i don't so so i imagine this in my head uh all it would be is files right just continually growing files mm -hmm. um so then you kind of need a client to actually read the chat and write the chat um, and we don't have that yet, but um, but I got pretty excited about that idea. Maybe okay, I'm going to stop this here. I don't know if I can convey my excitement there. <laughs> it's uh, stupid now that I think about it. But <laughs> but you uh, you invent a chat protocol that runs through sync thing. Every every message is a new file, and then you have a client that you know can read and write into the into the chat files, and then you port over all of Mattermost. <laughs> I think we just I don't know I, re, I just really I really want to be participating in one of these peer-to-peer -peer kind of and yeah. seeing how you know I know Radical is that but they're busy doing whatever they're doing yeah and you know FedWick is in a community where it's decentralized and, and inter-cooperating. Yeah, well, I like reading what there. I just haven't been able to catch up as my little poem from last week said. Yeah. <laughs> Wikis they, they are do. federated, but they keep to themselves. Yeah. They do a lot of uh, technical experiments there, which is fun to watch. But mm -hmm. Yeah. Michael, is there any information on how I could like programmatically access my factor postings and do something interesting with them i mean other than just like them to factor it's something open over my uh demuting control um uh you mean just in terms of like api yeah, if I want to programmatically say, I want to grab this stuff and put it over here in my little sync thing, you know, music box or whatever. Right, right. Um, not that's dynamic uh, that that I know of, and it is it is definitely outside my my technical mm. ken. But you know, the the ways that you can offload stuff are more like as a unit, you know, like pulling a, a CSV file of, um, okay. uh, and, and so there's that, if you wanna like take some stuff that is accumulated there and you wanna like look at it in a different way and just pull it off. Oh, okay, I mean like export it somewhere. What's that? Like export it somewhere. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, um, cool. But, um, but what would be great is if, you know, there was an API such that you could like plug it in so dynamically when you were changing things on factor, it was showing up somewhere else. Yeah, and it, well, anyway, I mean, you all, you all will get to that if it becomes, you know, both practicable and important. So I'm not, but if, if I can get the content off into, you know, yeah. into a CSV um, file, well, then I can make a mess out of it, you know, with Python <laughs> or the shell, so. <laughs> Yeah, no, thanks. Yeah. Um, and if, if that's not, a, I think, um, I'm trying to remember where that lives. I think I'll, on find, I'll find it. Okay, all right. If you don't, let me know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I think Pete just, I mean, I'm, I know I'm all hot about we should just get a group of people on the same thing, but basically the group of people now are on Matterboss. Yeah. That's where the primary sets of conversations are happening. There's and and other communities. FedWiki is one. Um, there's some Telegram groups that are you know kind of kind of intersect OGM or Key Collab or things like that. And there's a bunch of people there that would be interesting. Yeah, I just had a message from Guri yesterday. He says, "Hey, do you have Telegram? And if you have time, can you have do you have time today? You know, or maybe it works tomorrow to like you know. And do you have a dual screen setup? I'm like." No, no, and no, but, <laughs> but other than that, congrats, yeah. congratulations on the progress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't, he said if I had Telegram and dual screens, we could set up a do shared two different desktop do you know, he would show me everything, I guess. Yeah. But I, I don't, I don't think I can. You probably don't really need dual screens for that, even though it might be nice. I had sent him a note. I said, would it work if I had an iPad and a computer? <laughs> could that work? <laughs> I can do a dual times. screen with that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so. Well, one, I, I, so for me, it's just kind of personal. I want to be involved in some way, you know, participating in this and maybe I'll have contributions to make, but I don't want to, and I would like, the matter most is fine, but I, Maybe I just got to work more on getting messages out of Mattermost and finish that piece no, of code. I, there's, there's something there in, in having a wiki on sync thing that, that feels like a good thing. So, so another way to think about it is we, the, right now we've got a bootstrap problem, right? There's, there's no people because there's no content and there's no people. Um, and there's a little friction on the upstart because it's not just like open your computer and type this in a web browser. I feel done. like it's it's pretty low. I think I, I know it, I know it was a consternating day when we got it all going, but but it, a lot of the consternation was you know we were doing stuff where we didn't know the names or what to do or anything. But I, I think if somebody I, I think the walkthrough is pretty short and it doesn't have weird branches like get authentication. I think. That's um, true. Just, you know, download this, start it, you know, hit the, the, the console, set these things, you know, f uh, just put this in the ignore file and then you're good to go, right? Tell, tell you know, post, uh, post your ID to the, the Mattermost and then you're going, right? Yes. I, I think that's a short list and it doesn't branch. Um, I think you're right. It just needs to be made because it's a little... You know, for us geeks, it's like, yeah, another one of yeah. these things. I can ignore all that other. Yeah. Meanwhile, somebody's going, what the hell is this freaking message about? <laughs> so, so then we've also got the problem that um, it's, it's uh, tricky and a little non-intuitive to walk into a wiki space, especially if you're doing it with Obsidian, where Obsidian's not really helping you think of it as a wiki, you know, a participatory wiki with other people and stuff. Oh no, it's just helping me like, you know, link things together and whatever. So, so stuff. maybe we should start with, we could start with the content from the Thursday call. Maybe, I, I, maybe the, I think the thing to do is to have, you know, a uh, hundred or 200 or 300 pages or something of stuff. And we can say, hey, you know, are you interested in these books? Or are you interested in, you know, these topics? Are you interested in? And then there's a there there that can bootstrap to more mm -hmm. things. Okay.
Well, I'm committed to trying to help this thing along here. What should I we guess. name it? Think, thing, thing. Um, I don't have a name right now. Hmm. The, the Agora, the Collective Knowledge Repository, the Coffee House. Hang on, no, I'm trying to. Don't sink our no. battleship. Well, you saw my silly note earlier about sink and swim. <laughs> <laughs> sink it's and not, swim is pretty good. It's not sink or swim. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I guess I wouldn't use Agora since it's used for other things and you have some use for it yourself. I, I like Sink and Swim. All right. And then, but I think it just needs a little tagline, you know, this is where, yeah, including, for example, you know, found lying on the internet floor or something like this. Yeah. <laughs> um, the other thing it needs early is uh, some, some pages, you know, like, like, uh, here's what this thing is. And you know, here's some norms, cultural norms. Yeah, keep a few, a few ideas. Yeah. Right. And things, things found on the internet. Yeah, do it. Well, on the thing about norms for, you know, I would, cultural, I think I would just say either current practice, we tend to talk about, we're, you know, we're, in a way, even though we're it's contributing, the thing I liked about, um, I can't remember the author now, the reflective practitioner um, was, it was all about, he did the study of professions where people actually do spend time reviewing how they work in order to make it better. Yeah. And uh, I think that's part of the kind of work we need to be doing. Yeah. Right. So, and, and then there's a there's an art to doing that collaboratively with with the you know I, teams of people. And oh yeah, I mean, and there are there are some established practices, right? And these old things yeah. from socio technical system development and search conferences and and you know the kind of group dynamics, psychodynamics of work group, socio tech stuff. I mean, there's a lot of from that like a long time ago, 30, 40 years ago. There's a lot of work that people did with autonomous work groups and semi-autonomous work groups. And, you know, so there's uh, there's stuff out there. Um. Uh, let's uh, let's let's get it started. Okay. Um, and we just would like. Let me share my screen. The thing I would like to say to people is like you know we'd like. We're in, well, I think there's a, the, the reason to do this is to really put this kind of like, you know, peer to peer, decentralized, not always connected, you know, this kind of, it's kind of like an ad hoc, ad, not ad hoc. Um, it's like this improvisational space. Yeah where we're actually trying to lean on technology that's available, you know, not rely on, you know, we're not, we don't want to rely on big centralized hubs. So that means we're going to rely on each other and whatever, you know, and like, look, this is only the three of us, you, Mark and I, there's no really big deal of like Mark's machines offline. I'm like, yep. I don't care, you know? You know, if he turns his on, you know, he'll get this file. Yep. So, and we have, you know, and since we're not together working on, let's sit down and work on the, you know, reflective practitioner, reflective practice, you know, guidelines, norms, rules, suggestions, ad libs, you know, <clears throat> we don't have collisions. So now I should be able to share this with you somehow. I wonder if I have to do it over here. Yep. Yeah. 
puts down on the unshared folders thing. weird interface but whatever well that's the other piece i think people it is a little you know yeah I think it's got it's, it's got a model but you know yeah it's, that was kind of a web native so but but on the other hand that, that you know you, you get the, they don't have to fiddle with this one so, so now um now bill you should have that let me go see what i got here and then i can copy uh my dot obsidian folder in there. I don't, huh, I don't see anything here. I wonder if you have to rescan or something. I just did rescan. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, sorry. It's got the little big yellow blinking. Hello, new folder. <laughs> <laughs> do I have to do anything with the sharing here? I can just save, right? Yeah, you don't have to. All right, there we are. Okay. Um, so now junk it up. <laughs> I'll do that later, man. Yeah. I think I might just copy the found on the internet piece. Yeah. I, I thought totally that little would. Dan Cohen thing was really yep. nice. And I sent it privately to Jerry, the last one, because I said, this made me think of you, the trust thing. Yep. <laughs> Um, yes, I don't, yeah. Well, anyway, I'm I did it again. I put it in the wrong place, I think, on my computer, uh, which is fine. Yeah, my sister actually did synchronize with me once. She was uh, involved with physical education and uh, she went all the way through Columbia Teachers College and got a doctorate and did all this research. And, but she did some uh, um, synchronized swimming. The entire uh, generation can't think of synchronized swimming without thinking of Martin Short and Harry Shearer. And, <laughs> you know that skit, that uh, that film. Yep. No. Yep. Uh, it's uh, look up synchronized swimming SNL. Oh, okay. There's a great short film from I don't know '90s or something. Actually, I tried to do that once. Maybe with my sister, we were fiddling around. It's kind of fun to try and figure out how to get organized and. I'm going to do something crazy and remove that one and, and put a new one. Whatever. I don't, you know, this is. That's so what, what happens. Yeah, so this is part of like, we're done with experiments. <laughs> we're going for it. Whoop, I'm going to have to remove that and do something else. Whatever, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I dropped the egg on the floor. I'm going to have to cook another one. <laughs> yep. Is that an experiment? No, it's a mistake. <laughs> you know. I, I feel, I don't know, it's so, that, this whole AFib heart thing has been, was uh, weighing on my mind in a way I hadn't quite realized. Um, and now it's not which is cool. Yeah. You know, I'll wait for a month for this medicine to get out of my system. I'm very looking forward to not feeling so jumpy and crazy and unable to sleep and all yeah. kinds of other. Yeah. Hey, we're going to give you a medicine that's going to, you know, deal with the electrical conduction in your heart. <laughs> it's like, and what about the rest of the body? That's, the heart isn't the only place with electricity. <laughs> It makes it fun and interesting. It does, uh, it's right. Gosh. Yeah, one of my friends drugs goes, Yeah, the issue with you know medicines is mostly they're pretty blunt instruments most of the time. Yep. So, 
I'm going to smash this with a hammer. It's not a nail. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Get really well smashed. Uh, anyway. So, Pete, I think, uh, I don't know, are you, Michael, have you been paying attention to Mattermost? Um, Pete actually went and looked up this paper I posted the link to yesterday uh, called uh, Prepare Develop Democracies for Long Run Economic Slowdowns. I'm going to put this in my factor economics thing, but this is a paper worth reading and it's 14 pages, dense pack. It has over 200 citations. It's like a very clear eyed. Yes, you can wipe. Yes, you can wipe the tear away while you're reading it. <laughs> you know, it's just. I will. I just, I, I have to find a way to start writing to people, even though they're all troglodytes from my perspective in Congress. I'm all, you guys have just got to get your heads out of the sand here. Things are not going to be all right by themselves. <laughs> we actually had to participate. <laughs> I will read up. Um, you know, and I don't know what to do with, you know, people who are like, you know, as old as I am or like, you know, they don't have to care about the climate. They're not going to live that long. I mean, they really aren't. So, like, if that's the way you think, I don't know what you're doing in government. <laughs> you know, it's, it's weird how that works. Yeah. Well, we've created it. It's like Jack Park said. Yes, Louis. You know, this is the, you know, this is the government. We have, you know, these are the people that have been elected. You know, when people used to say, oh, Trump is not my president, I used to say, yeah, well, unhappily, he is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you're a citizen in this country, he is. You don't have to like it. You might not like it, but reality is reality. And the electoral college is the electoral college. Yeah, well, I mean, so it's a system, you know, it was built with any number of agendas and uh, yeah, that big fat history book I read about the 19th century is still reverberating about this global view of colonialism in the whole. I mean, I think I might have mentioned before, but the thing that was happening in the 1820s and 30s feels to me like the same thing that's happening now, that there's lots of things happening all around the world the same kinds of things. And there's just, you know, not everything is communicating with everything. Some things are just walled off, walled off, off and doing their own thing. But there's a lot of similar thinking everywhere. You know, like when the industrial people talk about the industrial revolution, where there are actually small revolutions happening in all parts of the world that had to do this author calls them industrious revolutions where people were putting together changes in how they actually carried out work and stuff. Um, and I had they woke me up to the fact that, you know, everybody, you know, the real fruits of the industrial revolution in terms of really having this industrialized mechanized, it didn't really happen until after the 1860s or something. I mean, it was like here and there. A little bit of this, okay, over here in this industry, but it really wasn't everywhere. Most people were still just, you know, gardening in their backyard. I mean, figuratively speaking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, likewise, a lot of the changes tech has wrought are really only affecting pockets. Um, you know, and I think, just, and I think that's a good thing. But just you know, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> um, but like you know, it's like the whole people talk about the nation state. Well, the nation state, you know, was really developed at the end of the nineteenth century, but the Ottoman Empire, you know, didn't dissolve till after the First World War. So that's like that's not even a hundred years ago. If you think about it, that's not really very long ago. <laughs> just a few generations. And that was a totally different system of government. <laughs> so. 
So I think we're in a similar boat, although we are connected in, with this internet, which makes things different, but there's, there's a lot of changes afoot in different parts of the world. So it's kind of exciting, you know, it's a Joanna Macy thing. What would be a better time to be alive than now? <laughs> She's like, hey, we're gonna see what humans are made of. <laughs> It's one thing to be excited about. She, is, she says, you know, I mean, she's quite old and she's like, you know, I'm not really very sanguine about some things, but, you know, still, you know. <laughs> so now I get to add Joanna Macy to people. Yeah, we just had it. This is it. I have to talk to my Texas friends, but this, you know, Samsung just said they're going to open a chip plant. Uh, I don't know, 50 or so, 50, 60 miles uh, from Austin in this place that's kind of rural. And mind you, I have to talk to these people that know about it. You go, you all may know more about this. I'm like, is there enough water in the ground in Texas to run a chip plant? I mean, those places have to be clean. That takes resources. That's a good question. I mean, I mean, that's what bothers me. It's like, really? How? I don't understand. You know, we're in a state that they, you know, the, the electrical grid is basically, you know, a free market free for all. It's like, and you would put a factor here because what? I feel you like... don't care if the power is on or not. I mean, I, I don't. It's like what? What? <laughs> I I feel like so like uh, here in California, it's it's almond trees, right? Uh, you drive out into the Central Valley, and you, well, you used to see like almond trees like by the, the droves, right? Until they're starting to dry up and die. But um, they're super but, water intensive, right? Super water intensive, yeah. Um, but I feel like a chip plant, it, it would use a lot of water, but you you could mostly make it a closed loop, I would imagine, too. I, will buy, I have some friends who have worked in the semiconductors. I think I get some answers, but I would hope, but, you know. Not, you'd have to spend lots of energy and, and filter material or whatever to do it, but. Well, yeah. Maybe my real question is, like, where are you going to attract all the workers to come here and work, you know, in a state that basically wants to dismantle its public education system? Yeah. So, like, why is that a draw? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Um, so I like the new wiki. I'm okay, good. I'm already right. starting to use it. All right, I'll start using. I'm not, you know, I'm happy to start using that one, and 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 now that's one that I can point other people to. Um, right, and I, you know, and it has all the advantages of like you know the regular wiki. Yeah, you can edit things in Emacs and drop them in the folder. It doesn't, you know, what yeah. just go for it. <laughs> so there's a. There's a couple of scripts that I have written in my head, well, that I've specced in my head. I have specs in my head for a couple of scripts. One of them is, let me show you. Um, if I can find the Zoom thing. Zoom. Share screen. Um, so this is the new Sink and Swim uh, wiki. It, I took, I just grabbed a lot of the stuff out of the, Great. the previous wiki. Yeah, no. Um, uh, and thanks for the plus there, Michael. It looks better like that. I was going to put and, but it's better this way. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so I, I, these, I'm still deciding whether or not I like, well, anyway, we're going to have, we're going to have some hierarchy here. Hopefully it won't get too crazy. Hopefully we're going to have some, spend. we're going to have some discussion on the license right away because Bill Anderson's on the call and he's like, right 
the cool thing is you can just go edit it and it's going to change on my computer maybe i'll notice maybe it won't uh, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm easy on licenses. Um, I know I, you are. Really we've, like, ta we've talked about, I'm going to go look at what you link to. I, I know you're really easy. I really right? like copyright. That's my, my, my whole deal. Well, um, I would, I would go for it. I think for me, you know, when I was doing this uh, scientific data and stuff, like, so the non-commercial thing is like completely, you, you can't really use it. I mean, how do you, you just like, it's, yeah. you say something, but never, never, everybody can ignore you because it's like, so we could probably change this. What what would you want this to be? I would be I would get rid of the ins yeah, I would rather I would go with buy. I really don't like share alike because yeah. you're really restricting people in a way that I know people say, yeah, well, people should be restricted yeah. like that. I'm like, okay, well, so your your definition of open is different than mine. So. Yeah. Um, I like it. Um, I, I prefer CC buy as well. Or a copy heart, even better. Um, I have to read that one. <laughs> uh, link off to the, the page, actually. She's got cute cartoons. Um, uh, so uh, there's a couple um, a couple scripts that I have specced in my head but aren't written yet. One of them is something that um, finds, I, I, the, well, one of them finds links that don't go anywhere. And makes pages for them. Um, oh, okay. Uh, one of one of them would find pages that aren't linked and would make a list of them on the README page or something like that. Um, the one that makes new pages from just you know unlinked. The, I found a link that's that's an orphan. Let me make a page for it. That page will get filled in with um, one of the empty page things. Mm. Uh, so new pages won't just be empty files to look like this. Um, and then another right. one is we need a list of once once you have person, topic, resource, book, um, you need a list of all of these. So there should be another page called, and it's already linked here, there should be pages, books, organizations, people, resources, topics. Mm -hmm. So these would get generated automatically. Um, it, it would just look in the book directory, uh, or maybe we'll do this better someday. We'll have, anyway. Um, I, I did just... that. I created a little script to do a table of contents of it. They're completely of a directory. And so you yeah. can go link on you know, Bill's books and you get all of them. Um, uh, if you want to use that one, that would be great. Well, I'll show you to you. You can, it might, I, you know, um, I just made, I made it work for me. And it's got some, you know, hard coded I can, things. I can it a little bit. We can keep keep going. I my guess is that, um, and let me just make it here. Um, I'm thinking that we'll have a top level directory called bin. This is the way I would do it. Mm. And for those of us who don't know anything about computers, that well, bin. Learning, right? <laughs> what what's what's bin? <laughs> it's the bin. All right. Okay. Fine. Actually, I've got another convention on some of my other wikis, special directories like this. You know, I'm going to do it. Actually, I'm going to rename this one to be underscore bin. Okay. And then there'll be probably underscore files or attachments or audio or video. Okay. I, I'm, I, this is part of, you know, when people are confused, it's like, yeah, well, this is the 21st century. It's how we're doing things. Yeah. Yeah. But to, to we're, trying, you know, we're trying to help the computers help us here. <laughs> They think they need a lot of help. <laughs> they do need a lot of help. We need help. We just need help. Yeah, I'm going to have to jump off in a couple of minutes. Me too. I should jump off now. Well, uh, thanks, Bill. Thanks, Michael. Yeah, it's great to see you all. Let me be a fly on the wall. I, I, um, absorb, I absorb a small percentage of. Pretty, pretty soon we'll wrangle you into the sink and swim. Yeah, don't worry, we're gonna do it. <laughs> you can stay in the wall, man, but you know, that won't last. <laughs> it, it, it'll be fun, we promise, I think. Sounds yeah, good. Yeah. And useful, especially useful. Thanks, folks. Adios. See you around. Have a good holiday. Like, guys, you too.